Welcome to Retro Arcade Reviews. My name is John, and in this episode, we will be reviewing the arcade classic Punch-Out. Punch-Out is a boxing game that was developed by Nintendo in 1983. Now, when a lot of people think of Punch-Out, they usually think of Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, or the SNES Punch-Out, or even the 2009 version of Punch-Out for the Wii. All of which were great games, but what people might not have known is that Punch-Out was originally an arcade game. Now, when I read about the game on Wikipedia, I see that the game had positive reviews like Game of the Year, Great, A Knockout, etc, etc. However, the reality was is that the game was just all right. I don't know who recently edited that article, but there are some slight discrepancies. But for now, I'm just gonna focus on the arcade version. Now, the arcade version had some things going for it. One, it had a pretty unique cabinet. There were two screens. The top screen displayed both fighters, the score, time limit, and your life bar, while the bottom screen showed your power meter and the action. Two, the characters and animation did look pretty cool. And in addition, Punch-Out was the first game that Koji Kondo worked on. So in the arcades, when you saw Punch-Out, it did managed to catch a ride. I mean, it's a cool looking game after all. So what can go wrong? It, well, the game simply had no replay value. Nowadays, people play this game on an emulator or on the Switch, and if you played it on one of these platforms and gravitated your way to a place that may still have the arcade cabinet, you're gonna go through the game no problem. But picture playing the NES version of the game. It's your first time, you have no other players to study from because they're just trying to figure it out for themselves, and every time you lost, it costed you a quarter. It wasn't like the game was hard or anything, you just didn't feel like playing it more than twice. And that was the usual experience of the game back in the mid 80s. It was like a one and done game in my opinion. Maybe two and done tops. It was the kind of game you and your buddies played, lost, had a good laugh, high-fived each other, and went back to playing Gauntlet. Or any other game for that matter. Punch-Out was the game you went to when you needed a brief respite from playing those other games. It wasn't until 1987 when Mike Tyson's Punch-Out came out for the NES that there was a renewed interest in the arcade game. But by that time, the arcade game wasn't around that much. In this game, you play as a green-haired boxer. To become champ, you have to throw down with six other stereotypes for the title. And when I say stereotypes, I mean, <laughs> come on, it's, it's Punch-Out. If you're playing Super Punch-Out that came out later that year, you have to fight through five other fighters. Once you win the title, the green wireframe turns yellow as you repeat the roster of fighters to defend the title. The game has no ending. It'll just increase in difficulty until you lose. In the age of ultra-political correctness, Punch-Out is not without its controversies. There has been a ton of articles about Punch-Out using ethnic and racial stereotypes. I mean, they poked fun at everyone, even themselves believe it or not. The fact of the matter is that when Punch-Out and Super Punch-Out came out for the arcades and home consoles, nobody actually really cared or saw it as offensive. It was just a cool game that everybody loved. NES version that is. I mean, I wasn't a big fan of it in the arcades as stated earlier, but I did like playing it on an emulator and I hear Nintendo did a good job with porting it over to the Switch. Punch out the arcade game with its colorful characters and catchy gameplay spawned a legacy of iconic games. It truly made a mark in gaming history and I say play the game and let me know what you think.